Hey, it's me, Pudog3, and I recently came back from a road trip. And one of my favorite things to do on a road trip is look at all of the welcome signs that are at the beginning of the state line of every single state in the United States. And as I was on this previous road trip, I thought about one thing. Wow, my interest in these welcome signs could make a great video. So that's what we're doing today, baby. We're ranking every single state welcome sign in the United States, except Hawaii, because Hawaii doesn't have any signs. They kind of just have like the airport and then signs that go to each individual city in Hawaii. So that's that that's not gonna be on the ranking. Now, if you're a new viewer watching this and really, really, really wanna see my rankings of every welcome sign in America, then uh, click this timestamp right here. But if you're an old viewer, let me break it down for you real quick. I've been looking back at a lot of my old videos and, and then I realize I randomly go into little hyper fixations in, in different parts of the year. Like uh, there'll be a whole section of year where I'm making Muppet videos. There'll be a whole section of the year where I'm making Smiling Friends videos. There'll be a whole section of the year where I'm making Five Nights at Freddy's videos. I want to kind of make my content a little better. And by that, I mean to have more of a, a, a brand. You know, I do these commentary videos, but I kind of jump from place to place. Like, like there would never be a Muppet video in the middle of like a smiling friend tsunami. So in an attempt to diversify my content, I am going to stick to movies and things in real life, like maybe food, uh, celebrities or welcome signs apparently because that is a thing in real life that everybody can relate to right oh my god bro also side note I bit my tongue so if I, I talk with a little lisp that's what that's what that's about by the way before we start these rankings I'm going to be ranking them on a tier list this time and I have the noble choice of putting each of these states in an S tier an A tier a B tier a C tier or an F tier. So let's let's rank them. Now the way we're gonna go through these welcome signs is in alphabetical order. So that means we're starting off with Sweet Home Alabama. And um that's that's all the sign says. That is a that is a horrible looking sign. I don't know. Apparently it's a uh, redesign of uh the original sign. I don't know what the original sign looks like, but but this sign is actually kind of awful it's kind of just the same as like a regular road sign like if you miss this on the way to alabama that i i wouldn't blame you because this kind of looks awful uh alabama it's not a great start to these rankings and i'm gonna put this in f tier up next we have alaska historic alaska highway gateway to the 49th state oh my god this sign is kind of beautiful and the juxtaposition between the Alabama sign and the Alaska sign is crazy. Why can't every state sign look like this Alaska sign? Like this sign is so gorgeous, it almost makes me want to take out my phone and look at Instagram reels. This one is beautiful. I'm going to put this one in S tier because that wood carving is just kind of fantastic. Great job, Alaska. You guys aren't really connected to us and honestly that might be why... You're a little more creative so um yeah good job alaska next up we have arizona and they apparently are known for being the grand canyon state they have a lot of like sun rays and stuff around a star um the star kind of blends in and then it's just kind of blue at the bottom it's not an ugly looking sign definitely not as bad as sweet home alabama like there was an attempt so i'm gonna put arizona in c tier next up we have arkansas it says, welcome to Arkansas, the natural state. Buckle up for safety. Well, that's that's nice. They're saying to buckle up if you go to Arkansas. If you go to any other state, um, make sure you have those buckles flying. Actually, cut it off. Cut off your seatbelt if you're in any other state. Honestly, for safety, we got to put that pretty high on the list. But also, it's kind of just a green sign besides that little like yellow leaf. I'm sure that has something to do with like their state um, fruit. Or, or something. So I guess that's a little creative. It's definitely more creative than Sweet Home Alabama. I think I'm also going to put Arkansas in B tier just because, you know, they say you got to buckle up. Not a lot of states do that. I mean, it should be self-explanatory, but I, I mean, it's, it's something that they feel the need to say. California is a um, unique one because it is very generic. Just says, welcome to California with a little flower 
and it looks kind of small on that thing. Uh, I, I really thought I've seen the Welcome to California sign and there was like a bear or something on it. I don't know what this sign is supposed to be. Uh, but I do like the fact that this one is not just a plain green sign. And there was an attempt to do the like complementary color scheme with the California sign. So I don't think the California sign is horrible. I do think it is a little like generic looking though. So I do think it goes to the top of B tier. Next up we have Colorado, which says welcome to colorful Colorado. I do, in fact, love these wooden signs. I think every one of these wooden signs at least gets a spot in the S tier just simply because of how cool it looks. I hope it's a standard moving forward that every sign in a mountainous region has a, a, a wooden sign because that's very unique and I, I honestly have never seen anything like this. But um, as far as welcome to colorful Colorado, this sign is not colorful at all. So I'm sorry, Colorado, just no false advertising. But other than that, I really like the wooden sign and I'm going to have to give this an S tier rating. Next up, we have Connecticut. Um, this sign is kind of all over the place. It says Connecticut welcomes you. Connecticut, we're full of surprises. I don't know what's up with this sign. It looks like there's bullet holes in the sign. I don't know why it's so asymmetrical either. I don't know what this bottom part is supposed to be. I don't know why there's a really weird looking space between welcomes and you. Also, I'd like to say I'm rating the signs, not the states. I don't know anything about Connecticut. This looks ugly. I'm sorry, Connecticut. Get you a better sign because this looks like you found random pieces of a sign just in the trash and you jumbled it up together. What is this? Connecticut, do better. What F tier? F tier Connecticut. Next we have Delaware. I'm gonna be honest. This sign is kind of beautiful. I don't know what it is about this sign. The fact that it's actually a circle instead of like the Alabama sign that has like a curved end and it just isn't curved in the first place. It's just it's an actual like curved square. This is a beautiful looking sign. It doesn't stand out that much, but if I saw this on the road, I would 100% take a picture of it. I think for sure this one is A tier. I kind of love that design. Next up, we have Welcome to Florida, the Sunshine State. This is one of the occurrences where they actually use like what the state is known for in the actual sign. And I think it works really well, especially if the placement of this is right. Um, it should be surrounded by palm trees and then there's palm trees on the actual sign. I think that looks really nice. I'm pretty sure the few times I've drove into Florida, I've rode on like the interstate and there isn't palm trees around it like this. So I don't know if you're coming from like Georgia and you're coming into Florida, maybe it looks like that, but, um, I don't know. Yeah. I think, uh, I, I think the Florida sign looks really good. And honestly, I think we're on a little hot streak right here. And Florida's also going to get an A tier ranking. Next up, we have Georgia. I really hope I downloaded the right sign because it says, welcome. We're glad Georgia's on your mind. Now, Georgia, if I got the wrong sign, I'm sorry. But I'm going to just say why I don't like this sign. While you're driving, you'd have to read two lines of words. And then you would eventually get to Georgia. And it's not even an advertisement kind of a being like, welcome to Georgia. It's just Georgia. And it has a little saying, I don't, why is Georgia in the middle of this thing? Why is it not the most prominent thing? The most prominent thing on this sign is the peach. Why is Georgia in the middle of the sign? Also, it's really bugging me that they capitalize welcome, we're, and Georgia, but they didn't capitalize on. Like, they were going right down. They could have did WWGO, but they didn't. I I'm sorry, man. This is getting F. This is this is a horrible sign. I don't, I don't like this at all. This is awful. Next up, we have Idaho. It is very simple and has a purpose of showing you that you are, in fact, in Idaho. And it's kind of basic, like Idaho. So, I, I think Idaho does its job, and I think it is definitely in the B tier, which is about middle of the road. Good job, Idaho. You did, you did your job of being a good-looking sign. Next up, we have Welcome to Illinois, the land of Lincoln from the people of Illinois. Why are you guys dragging up the Lincoln thing? What's going on here? 
We don't have every single state saying wh what president is from there. Like, yeah, I know Lincoln's a big deal. He's probably my favorite president. But why is, why is, why we gotta say this is the land of Lincoln? Is that the only thing you're known for? No, you're known for the second city saint of CM Punk. Put CM Punk really big and say, the home of CM Punk. We don't need Lincoln on there. I feel like if we're doing one president, we gotta do them all. Why does Lincoln get special treatment? He's already on the $5 bill and the penny. Why does he need to be on the Illinois sign? But uh, overall, I do really like the sign. I like that welcome to is blue and that they have this neat little square in the middle of it. It looks very kind of like 60s almost, if that makes any sense. And the Illinois logo has uh, the I replaced by the state of Illinois with the Mississippi River going through it. I think that's really cool. Um, I am going to give this one an A tier. I do really like the Illinois sign, um, all jokes aside. Indiana. The people of Indiana welcome you. So now this is making me wonder, do they send out forms to every citizen in that state and they ask, do you welcome any new tourist that comes into your state? Because how come California's residents don't welcome you there? Indiana, they do. Are they mean in California? Also, I get it. You put the state of Indiana right there. I just don't, I don't like how big that eye is. I don't, I don't really like it. I like the fact that this is a fun looking sign. I think fun looking signs deserve their credit. But uh, why is the eye so big? Why is the eye in Indiana so big? I don't, I don't think we need to do all that. I think that this Indiana sign deserves to be in C tier. I, I like the fun sign. It's not doing it for me. I'm sorry, Indiana, but uh, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know about that one. Iowa, the people of Iowa welcome you. Fields of opportunity, again, with the people of the state welcoming you. What is, the, what is up with this? What is up with this? Does Indiana and Iowa, like, they're the only two states that every citizen was like, oh yeah, this is, this fine. You can welcome any new tourists to our state. Why do they get special treatment? Also, this sign is kind of ugly. But again, it's like one of those square ones that don't have, like, the cutoff edges that kind of bugs me. And it's also yellow on white. That's kind of really ugly. I don't know. This one also is going in the low, low C tier. I don't really like. Welcome to Kansas. Midway, USA. Um, when I think of Kansas, I'll be honest, all I think of is tornadoes and the Wizard of Oz. And if that doesn't look like something that I would see in, like, the Wizard of Oz, I don't know what would. I think Kansas is a very unique looking sign because it's not just, like, painted on letters. It's, like, it's kind of cut out and drilled on and it looks a little faded and stuff, kind of how... Wizard of Oz is an old movie. I don't know. I like the vibes that this Kansas sign gives off. And honestly, I think it is pretty unique. And I'm going to put it in S tier. Welcome to Kentucky. Unbridled spirit. Birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. So, what, what's up with this? Why is everybody doing the Lincoln thing? Why is everybody just want to have the custody of Lincoln? What's up with the custody of Lincoln battle? Okay. Illinois is over here saying... We, we've got Lincoln. And then Kentucky's like, oh, well, we all, we, this, he was born here. So we got Lincoln too. We, not everybody can put Lincoln on the sign. There's enough to go around. Kentucky, you get fried chicken. Just cut off the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln thing. And I think this is a good sign. It's got the horse on it. It shows you kind of what the whole state's about. If they had Colonel Sanders on there, I think it, it, it would have been a lot better. But I don't know. I don't know what unbridled spirit is supposed to mean. It, it feels like Kentucky has like a subtitle. Like, it's like, Kentucky, unbridled spirit. Like, it's a movie. This isn't a movie. This is a state. This is the state of Kentucky. What are we doing? Why do we have a, a, a subtitle on, on the state of Kentucky? I don't know. Um, it's a good sign, though. Guys, we need to chill with Abraham Lincoln, though. Not everybody can say that they own Lincoln, okay? But I do like the design of Kentucky, so I think I'm going to put it in B tier. Because it's not too extravagant, but it's not too bad. So it's about middle of the road. Next up, we have Louisiana. Uh, welcome to Louisiana. Bienvenue en Louisiane. Keep Louisiana beautiful. So this is kind of just like a yap sesh on a sign. What is Louisiana doing here? What are we doing with this sign? We've got this big blue sign. Like you're driving. We have other states that say buckle up. We have this sign that's like, welcome to Louisiana. And then they say, welcome to Louisiana again, but in French. And then they say, keep Louisiana beautiful. Like... I'm in a car, dude. I'm already releasing, like, 
toxins into the atmosphere. They really only have a Florida de lis on here, and then their gimmick is that, oh yeah, we speak French down here. Like, I feel bad doing this, but this sign sucks. Louisiana needs a better sign. I, I think it's about time. Uh, keep Louisiana beautiful. Ain't nobody say that in Louisiana. Unfortunately, I think Louisiana kind of suffers from Georgia welcome sign syndrome, and it, it, it is getting put in F tier. I don't like the Louisiana sign at all. Like, here's my pitch for a new Louisiana sign. Put crawfish on the sign like cooking gumbo, and give the crawfish sunglasses. That would look awesome. If I saw the sign that looked like that, I would want to like immediately dive headfirst into Louisiana. Come on, just do something better than, hey guys, we're French. And that's coming from a guy named Emile. If you guys couldn't tell by the sign, because the, the main text is quite subtle, this is Maine. This is the welcome sign for Maine, and it apparently is the way life should be. What are you doing? Maine, why are you trying to start beef with every other state in the country? What do you mean the way life should be? In Maine? At the top of the country? What are you trying to do? What are you, what are you, what are you saying? California and New Mexico aren't good enough because they're not as high on the, on the, the country as you? What is this? What, what is this about Maine? Why are you trying to beef with everybody in the country? Now, if the sign didn't degrade me as soon as I went into the state, I think it would be in B tier, but honestly, I'm putting Maine in C tier because why are you being so mean to every other state? Next up, we have Maryland. Uh, Maryland is... Maryland has a lot going on, and I would probably crash the car if I was trying to read Founded 1634. However... It's very colorful, and it, it, it gets the job done of showing you where you are. And since it's going for this little sunflower theme, it's a color that you don't see on, like, every sign. Like, there's a lot of green and a lot of blue signs, but this is a white, black, and yellow sign. So I think it will get put in A tier, mainly because I don't know what this shape is trying to to be i don't know what is that supposed to be the capitol building what it, what is that massachusetts i don't like how the massachusetts um word is is in the generic sign font and then welcomes you as in script i don't know it's kind of plain it's got the nice little punctuation of a bird in the bottom corner i i, I think i'm just gonna give it a b tier it's kind of middle of the road it does its job it's a sign what else can i ask now on the other hand michigan is a fantastic sign with the tagline, Great Lakes, Great Times. I really like the Michigan sign because it's very bright with like the lighthouse being silhouetted by that circle. However, why are we putting Detroit at the bottom of this sign? Did you miss that day of school where we all decided that we weren't gonna put a random city on the, the, the welcome sign? Like we don't have the Arizona sign saying, this is where Phoenix is guys. Also Michigan, you don't own America. Don't put the American flag on your sign. Put your flag just for putting Detroit on your sign, A tier. Next up we have Minnesota. All it says is Minnesota welcomes you and it is a sign coming out of the ground in the shape of Minnesota. Fantastic sign. Oh my god, I love this. I don't, I don't know why Minnesota is kind of in like the Budweiser font, but this is a great sign. I know it's set up before, but that wooden look is great. And this isn't even a wooden aesthetic, it's just a pleasant sign to look at. I don't know why everybody kind of just goes for these very generic like street signs. When Minnesota looks like it takes pride and it's like, you're in Minnesota, congratulations, you've made it to Minnesota. I... I think Minnesota sign, fantastic job, guys who designed that. Minnesota, you're getting an S tier for that. Great sign right there. Fantastic sign. Okay, now Mississippi. Um, what are we doing here? Birthplace of America's music. You didn't have anything else going on, so you had to say you, you are the birthplace of all music in America? I, I mean, I guess, I guess we can go that route. Only notable thing I'll say about Mississippi is that I really like that the S's all like tie together in the middle of the sign and that it has the state of Mississippi like behind it. I think it gives it some color and makes it look kind of unique. Um, I think it's a pretty good looking sign. It's kind of generic, but it's a lot better than everything I put in B tier. So I think Mississippi, you get to go in A tier. You're very low there. You're kind of on the edge. But Mississippi, you graphically designed that pretty well. I do like the Mississippi sign. Welcome to Missouri, the show me state. Well, I don't know what the show me state means, but I do like the Missouri sign because for once, we don't just have white text on a green background. 
we have yellow text on a green background and it stands out a whole lot more. Again, we have the interconnecting S thing and then a whole lot of empty space in the in the corner of Missouri. We could have had like a picture of Randy Orton or something in that corner, but I don't know. Missouri looks pretty good. Not anything too notable to say about it. It's definitely not B tier, so I think I'm going to give Missouri A tier. Good job, Missouri. You did great. Montana, it's a pretty good sign, man. I mean, it's going to be colorful, and I'm going to see Welcome to Montana while I'm driving into Montana. But what is this little color gradient we're doing on on the, the sand and underneath the mountains? And we're also doing, like, the shape thing again, where it's, like, the shape of the state. I feel like we could have opted more into, like, the wooden thing if we're doing this. We're already in, like, a mountainous area. I don't know. But that's just me with a preference of the wooden signs. I do think it, it has a lot of effort put into it and a lot of thought. But it's definitely not basic like something like Connecticut or Louisiana's so I do think that Montana needs to be put in a tier as well next up we have Nebraska and they say the good life and home of Arbor Day it's an okay sign B tier I'm not I'm not I'm not elaborating on that I do like that it says it's in the Pacific time zone. I think that's really cool that they do that in this. I feel like a green sign, though, could have stood out a lot more, though, in Nevada because it's a, it's a desert. So I feel like if you did a green sign in the Nevada desert, then it would be standing out a lot more. I get what they're doing because they made it white because it's, quote unquote, the silver state. But then again, also pretty kind of generic. I don't know. It's not too great. Not too bad. I think Nevada will be putting C tier. I, I mean, I don't know really where else to put it. Welcome to New Hampshire, the granite state. I do like this sign. I'm not going to lie. I kind of love this sign. We don't have any of that generic font. Everything is trying to be a little creative and it is blue and yellow that I will see that from a mile away if I'm driving into New Hampshire. It's also got welcome to is also in this very like baseball font, which I really like. So I don't know, New Hampshire, it's a very simple sign, but it does its job and it looks good. So I think that's a solid A tier for New Hampshire. Jersey, I'm sorry. This is a very generic sign. I feel like y'all forgot to make one and y'all were just like, ah, make it like the other ones. It's whatever. And then you put the little seal at the bottom, but you didn't center it. And it's just kind of off to the left. Jersey, you're getting an F here. I'm, I'm sorry, Jersey. That one's, that one's kind of, it looks kind of bad, man. Welcome to New Mexico, land of enchantment. Don't know what land of enchantment is supposed to mean for New Mexico. Maybe I'm just not cultured or whatever, but... I, again, adore these wooden signs, and this one is bright as hell. It feels like a big deal going into New Mexico. I don't know why, but I totally expected for New Mexico just like a blue sign that said, Welcome to New Mexico, the home of Breaking Bad. 100% thought that was what it was going to say, but no. This is a very creative sign, and it's very bright, and has little peppers on it, so it, it looks pretty good. I don't know. I do think New Mexico, you do get S tier. Good job, New Mexico. Welcome to New York, the Empire State. Okay, so I feel like the same thing is happening with New York and New Jersey. They kind of didn't put a lot of effort into the sign because you figure people are gonna fly into New York or New Jersey anyway. Again, this one's not gonna slide. I do think this is better than Jersey's sign, but it is very basic and very generic, and I think I'm going to put it in F tier. I'm sorry, New York. Just how it's gonna be, man. Next up, we have Welcome to North Carolina, nation's most military friendly state okay well that's nice i i don't know what this little green rectangle is supposed to be at the bottom i understand the state line thing but i feel it's also kind of self-explanatory it's a pretty kind of whatever sign i don't know they use a lot of the basic font and then they have that random little rectangle at the bottom. I don't know what that's about. Are these little rectangles supposed to be like if you want to leave your autograph on the North Carolina sign, you can? Like, honestly, can someone please enlighten me in the comments? What is the little green rectangle for? I, I have no idea. But anyways, I'm putting North Carolina in C tier. Welcome to North Dakota. Legendary. S tier. Ohio welcomes you. Another one of the, the ones where the state is welcoming you. Come on, guys. You just need to really ask all those citizens to see if the people can welcome you to Ohio. I don't know. I like the little backdrop on Ohio because it's not, like, very generic. It's definitely more creative than a lot of the signs with a, just kind of a blue background. So, uh, I, I think A tier for Ohio. Good job, guys. 
Welcome to Oklahoma. Discover the excellence. See, the sign is very generic, and I feel like it would have put in F tier if they didn't try to do the little picture in the middle, but I respect the effort, and I think I'm going to put it in C tier, leaning very close on F. Welcome to Oregon, and this sign is okay. See, I know, I think this may be the first wooden one I'm not putting in S tier, because this sign is like, they heard about everybody doing the wood thing, but they didn't fully commit, and they do the generic sign font on this whole thing, and it's just... If I saw it on the road, I'd probably take a picture of it, but it's also kind of just basic and it looks like I'm going to like Great Wolf Lodge or something like that. Put Welcome to Oregon in B tier. It, it's, it's whatever. Pennsylvania um, is a little confusing one. They put effort into it clearly because they didn't just do the generic font, but they, they didn't put the shape of the state on it. They put the shape of the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. What is this about? Like they've got a whole little blank space. And I'll write your name. I don't know. Pennsylvania. I'm getting kind of tired of these signs. Um, Pennsylvania, you should have been earlier in the alphabet if you wanted kind of like a freebie. I think Pennsylvania is getting a C tier as well. I, it's kind of asymmetrical. and looks a little odd. Welcome to Rhode Island, the ocean state. It's also the home of Peter Griffin. I feel like that should be more important on the sign. But, uh, welcome to Rhode Island, the Ocean State. They clearly blocked something out at the bottom. I don't know what that's about. The Ocean State is fine. It's next to the ocean. And there's a little boat on it. Pretty good looking sign. I'm gonna put that one in A tier. I, I like that. Smiling faces, beautiful places. Welcome to South Carolina. With another little rectangle to leave your autograph when you go to South Carolina. I really do like this sign. I, I feel like the shape is very unique and not something that you'll see on like any other sign. Honestly, if this was the standard for every other sign in America, like if Connecticut and Louisiana decided, oh yeah, we're just gonna do this exact same copy paste thing, but in different colors, totally would be fine with that because this is a cool looking shape and they don't use any generic fonts, but they do have a hanging little rectangle, I guess, if you wanna advertise, like there's a Bucky's down the street or something. Hot take? I like the sign, and I'm tired of seeing stupid looking signs. I'm putting South Carolina in S tier. Fight me, Connecticut welcome sign. Great faces, great places. I don't know what's up with these signs with the rhyme schemes, but I mess with them heavy. Like, great faces, great places, great lakes. What was it? Great rakes? I don't know. Great lakes, great times, all that. I, I mess with those. And I know they, like, copy their homework a little bit, but this South Dakota sign still goes crazy. I don't know what this Dakota font is supposed to be but i mess with it heavy and i'm putting south dakota in a tier also counting illinois and kentucky this is the third sign to have abraham lincoln on it what's up with this tennessee it's okay i don't know it has the generic welcomes you at the bottom and tennessee is outlined by its state and then there's a little flag in the corner i, I feel like that's just kind of a sticker that somebody did but it's i mess with it not too heavily tennessee you should have been higher up on the list and you're going in B tier right now. Sorry, Tennessee, but I mean, this, this is kind of how it is. I think that this does its job, and I think it is very well made, and I think it's a very well made sign. I like the Texas flag. It has a nice font at the top that says, Welcome to Texas, and they have the Texas flag. Now, hear me out on this. If the state welcome sign was in the shape of Texas, that could go hard. You know what? I'm not going to mess with Texas, and I'm going to put Texas in high B tier because they didn't put a lot of effort, but it's a solid looking sign. Utah, what are you doing? Why don't we make it a billboard for your for your sign? This is did you miss the memo? This is not what everybody else is doing. Utah, I'll put you in I'll put you in A tier, Utah. Because there was clearly an effort and there I've seen a lot worse signs than you, Utah. So Utah, you're getting an A tier. Welcome to Vermont, the Green Mountain State. This one also does have like a bullet hole at the bottom. I don't know what that's about. Green Mountain State, you're getting in B tier. You're about average. You kind of got like the upside down V in the middle, which is like supposed to be a mountain, I think. But I think it looks like an upside down V. And I think that's cool. So um, B tier for you, Vermont. It's not too creative, not too crazy, but it's about on par with everything else in B tier. Welcome to Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. I didn't know this. That is the only sign in America to be a black and red sign. I feel like as Poodog3, I have to rate that one high. A tier, I guess. I don't know why Virginia's for lovers. Uh, 
Tell me in the comments. I don't know. If you've never seen me, I like red, black, and white. I have to put it high up. I'm sorry, Virginia haters, if you exist. See, now I feel like Washington, for certain, could have been a wooden sign, but they chose not to. Like, the, the poles of the bottom are made out of wood. Uh, it does look like kind of like handmade, so I guess I'm going to put it in A tier, but still, it's so kind of generic looking. If it was on a metal sign, I would put it in B tier, but it, just because of the fact that it looks like it's made out of actual wood and like painted, it, I'm going to put it in A tier. Well, I'm sorry, Washington, I'm on, but I'm on state number 46 right now out of 49, and it, it's getting to be a lot. Welcome to West Virginia. I kind of like that the sign's bright white because it's very easy to see, so I, I do think that it's definitely not F tier, it's definitely not C tier, it's probably not B tier. I'm going to put West Virginia in A tier. I also do like this little design of like the sun creeping out behind the mountains, and then they have the cool little line going across i think it's cool west virginia good job man you go you go on an eighth here now wisconsin you get it you get what you're supposed to do with the sign it's not the best one out of all the wooden signs so arguably if you would want to put this in a tier go right ahead but again i still think that this should be the standard all other signs in the united states we should all have that wooden aesthetic it looks so cool if not everybody have a wooden aesthetic give every state sign an aesthetic don't just make them a generic sign on the road or you might miss them i think it should be like kind of an event you're passing the state line going into another one this one is veering close to a tier but it definitely is an S tier sign. I do mess with that one heavily. Now the final state is Wyoming. And uh, I don't really like this sign. It kind of looks like a billboard, but I do think it is executed worse than Utah because it looks a little ugly. And according to this website I'm reading, uh, this sign changes frequently. So they just aren't happy with their sign. I, I respect the fact that you're trying to make it better and better, but stick to a sign, man. Why are we changing the sign frequently? What, what is going on here? I don't know. I'm putting Wyoming in C tier because I gave Utah the A tier pass earlier. But yeah, that is every state besides Hawaii sign ranked on a tier list. Here is my final tier list for those of you who um, just kind of like dozed off for like a state or two. Also, again, this is not hate towards any state that is in the F tier or C tier or D tier or not an S tier. This is purely a ranking of the signs. I mean, I, I ranked my state super low. So, I mean, I ranked my state super low because I'm not proud of the sign. I just thought it would be an interesting thing to look at and see how each state sign looks different. But yeah, that's about it for this video. All right, see you next week.